Hey pretty people, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can join all the fun. So, hello, it's almost Halloween time. And as you can tell, behind me we got these rocket clothes here. And these are all clothes that I just DIY'd. These are all costumes that you could potentially wear on Halloween if you want to. So whatever you want to be this Halloween, if it's cute, if it's scary, whatever it may be, we got options here. So instead of talking about it, let's just get into it. Let me show you everything that you can create for Halloween this year. For this first costume, all you're going to need is a basic black witch hat and a hot glue gun and find some jewels or gems around your house or go to Michael's and get some. Whatever you can find will be perfect for this look. You are gonna wanna glue as many or as few as you'd like to the black witch hat. And as you can see, I did it really randomly. I spread them out and I just picked what I could find. I raided my mom's crafting bin and I just picked what I could find. So this is the final look and this is how it turned out. And I think it looks really good and really cute. Now for the outfit part of the costume, I picked a black cute dress but you can of course wear whatever you want whatever looks cute and makes you feel good and i topped it off with the hat of course and for the shoes i picked some really cute booties that would pair really well with the outfit and overall i just wanted this look to be very fashionable and very chic so that i could step out this halloween feeling very stylish and very cute overall it came out really cute and i really love this costume for the next look you're gonna need a mask just a little surgical mask and we are gonna paint this thing yellow pink and black and we of course cannot paint with our fingers so go ahead and get yourself some paint brushes this costume is going to require a variety of paint brush sizes so go ahead and get a little pack that has all different sizes in it go ahead and paint on some cardboard or a paper plate that way you don't make a mess and for this part we are going to paint the whole thing yellow we're going to get in between the little cracks on the surgical mask we're going to open it up and get in those creases and just paint that whole thing yellow let it dry for a bit and then we'll come back for more once it's dry go ahead and outline the design that you want to paint over the yellow part i'd recommend maybe googling a picture of the exact snapchat filter that you want to use then go ahead and start painting and really making this mask come alive shout out to my mama for painting this for me she is so crafty i could not do this on my own so thanks mom this mask looks amazing i'm obsessed with it and it's probably one of my favorite costumes of this whole video i mean look at this mask it looks exactly like the snapchat filter it doesn't get any better than that so for the outfit part i am gonna match my outfit to what the mask is and the mask is a little cougar for my top here i'm wearing a spotted top and of course I have the ears to go with it and really pull the look together. The Snapchat filter actually does have the ears on it too, so if you are picking a Snapchat filter that has ears, you just gotta do it. You have to go all the way. And overall, this look is so cute and it's really unique. You can really play it up and make it how you want to. And I guarantee you that at that Halloween party, nobody else will be dressed like you. Next up, you're gonna need an old white t-shirt that you do not mind destroying because we will destroy this in the process with those scissors and of course with that fake blood so we're gonna crop this top and we're gonna cut it as jagged as we'd like the more jagged the better because it really gives it that scary halloween look so we're gonna cut holes we're gonna make rips we're gonna make tears whatever you can do to make this top really look destroyed go for it and next comes the fun part which is splattering paint and painting this fake blood all over the top. And with this, be creative, but I will give you a little tip. Painting this fake blood on there kind of looks not so good. So I would recommend splattering the paint, maybe putting it on your fingers and rubbing it, somehow making it look as natural as possible. I mean, I'm not a thousand percent sure what splattered blood on a t-shirt looks like, but I feel like when it's spread out and the paint is just splattered, it looks better than globbing the paint. So maybe try that. And you cannot be a killer doctor without a surgical mask. And we're talking killer doctor here, so we gotta put the fake blood on the mask. So we're gonna do that. And just like the top, we're gonna splatter paint all over it to make it look like you really did kill somebody. And for the outfit part, I went ahead and put this top with scrub pants and I found an old lab coat that I used to use in high school throwback and I used it for this costume I completed this look off with the surgical mask 
And overall, it looks really cute. I really like the way it turned out. It's really comfortable. And if we're talking Halloween parties, I guarantee nobody will be dressed like you. And you can definitely get down in this outfit. Trust me, I attempted it and it worked. So overall, I love this costume. Next, we're gonna take another old white t-shirt that you don't mind painting over and we are gonna take this thing and work with it for this one you can freehand the letters but i chose to use a stencil that way it turned out perfectly i am quite the perfectionist so i had to use the stencils and i went ahead and took some black paint and dabbed the paint into the stencil to make the letters say a a b you'll see what sorority i'm in i will tell you about that later but I kind of messed up here. As you can see on the second A, I kind of globbed a little bit of paint there, which kind of drives me insane. So I kind of had to work with what I had. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this and turn it into a little paint party. So I splattered some blue paint, some pink paint, and then of course I had to do the black paint because I messed up on black paint. So I made it a little splatter t-shirt and it actually came out way cuter than if I would adjust on the letters, which I was originally gonna do. So if you make a mistake in any of these outfits, just work with it. It's fine. It'll probably still be so cute. So here you have it. Oh my god, you are a sorority girl. Oh my god, it is so fun to be a sorority girl who like it's just like the coolest girl on campus it's like so fun in the fanny pack hello every sorority girl needs a fanny pack also make sure you talk in this voice all night you have to it's like a part of being a part of alpha alpha beta annoying ass bitch is um you have to talk in a voice like this and if you don't then sayonara bitch you're not in our sorority so in order to really be a part of Alpha Alpha Beta, you have to wear Converse and you have to act like this all night because everything is so exciting and oh my god, sisterhood is so fun. So um, yeah, this is like how you become a part of annoying ass bitches. You just have to act like this all night. <laughs> Now moving on to the complete polar opposite of what that was. We are gonna rock all black this Halloween. And we are gonna pair it with some angel wings and of course our halo that is also black. Because bitch, we are a fallen angel. And I was this last year and let me tell you, it was so cute, I loved it. And I know here that I have the wings upside down but I'm kind of weird because I like the wings to really stick up and protrude from the shoulders. So do not correct me, I know I'm doing it wrong. I am doing it my way. So I like the way it looks and yeah. Whatever, it's wrong. But this outfit was so cute to wear last year. I felt like a bad bitch. And honestly, it's so cute. All you need are the wings and the halo. You supply the outfit and voila, you are looking good. Up next, we are gonna try to be Wednesday Adams. We're gonna have a collared shirt with a skirt. Make sure it's tucked in. And over that collared shirt, we are gonna put on a long sleeve turtleneck that will really make you Wednesday and really bring out the essence of Wednesday Adams. This alone is so cute, but we are gonna try to take it to the next level. So we are going to attempt, and I use that word loosely, you will see why. We're gonna attempt to have some black hair via this wig. This is like so tragic. Bitch. Here we go. <laughs> oh well to the no. Founding father who? <gasps> no way. This is rude. Oh my God, you can see my hair. <laughs> this is disgusting, bitch. Look at this part. This, uh-uh. Who thought this wig was a cute idea? Looks like a helmet. And this sticking out? <laughs> oh, it's a hell no for me, dog. <laughs> I look like Wendy with black hair. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. Would you like a four for four? The wig is a fail. We're just gonna keep the natural hair because, oh my God. So now we're just a blonde Wednesday Adams. Maybe find a black wig, not from Walmart, because that one is what made us look bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
to wrap on this look. <laughs> no wig, much better. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be tragic and it was, so. This next one will not be, however. We are gonna put our hair in the highest pony possible while wearing a t-shirt dress. And I have my hair curled, but I'd recommend to straighten it. And an Ariana Grande look would not be complete without the knee-high boots. Those are the essential part of the whole look. So once you have that all together, bitch, you are making number one hits. And look how easy that is. This is the easiest DIY here. So I hope you guys like this. And lastly, we have another attempt here. What we're gonna do is take a long sleeve top and some leggings. We're gonna lay her out. And then we are gonna use some glow in the dark paint. Now, this glow in the dark paint, I tried to spread out because I was like, okay, this is gonna require a lot to make the skeleton. And as I spread her out, I believe that the effectiveness of the glow in the darkness wore off. So if you are gonna do this, Make sure that you glob it on there and literally buy like 10 cases of this stuff because it will not work if you don't cake that on there. So if you don't cake it, it's not going to work. So make sure you get it all in there. And look at this. Look at the skeleton. I am so, such an artist. I am such an artiste. I am so good at my craft of art. Look at this. The crookedness. Mm -mm, that's art right there, baby. Put this in the Louvre and we'll call it a day. But here is a look. Um, I kind of gave up because... I was like, I cannot waste my leggings on this, so I just did the top. And once I turn the lights off, here is the result. This is me trying to see if the glow-in-the-dark worked. Um, but yeah, it did not. So you literally need to bathe in the glow-in-the-dark paint for this thing to work. I'm trying everything. I'm coming up to the camera. Nothing is working. So this was... <sighs> A little bit of a fail it kind of didn't work but I'm still gonna include it in the video because I'm gonna let you guys know that you know what if you want to do this you can but if you want to glow in the dark you got to squeeze the whole bottle for it to work try at your own risk so that is it that is everything that you can DIY this Halloween I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and hopefully you like some of the costumes that I just showed you and maybe you'll want to be one of them this Halloween yourself. If you liked this video, make sure that you give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. I have a few more Halloween videos planned, so if you're interested, do not forget to subscribe. And while you're down there, hit that little bell so that when I post, you'll be notified. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.